Hello and welcome. My name is Christina from Empowered Creator. I am a mindset and conscious manifesting teacher and coach, and this is my YouTube channel. Here I talk about all things law of assumption, mindset, conscious manifesting, the quantum universe, and a lot more. And my goal is to simplify everything without the fluff. So if you guys like this content and you would like to see more of it, I would love it if you would subscribe to this channel, comment on this video, like it, share it, and stick around. Also, if you need help with your specific situation, I offer one-on-one -on -one coaching, email coaching, as well as custom subliminals for whatever needs you may have. I also have a self-study mini course, Telepathically Connect with your specific person. So if you guys are interested in any of these services, the links are below in the description box. Click on them and they're going to take you to my website. With all that being said, let's dive into today's video. In today's video, I want to motivate you guys and show you how you can actually see fulfillment of your desire even before it has manifested in your 3D reality everywhere. Fulfillment is indeed everywhere and you don't have to wait for the actual concrete manifestation of your desire to start seeing fulfillment in everything as long as this is the perception with which you see things. So this is what I'll be discussing in today's video. Stay tuned. So I've mentioned before in many videos how it's so, so, so important how you perceive things, how it's so important what meaning you give things. And that means things you see in the 3D, circumstances that might pop up in the 3D, experiences that might show up in your 3D experience. All of that can be seen as part of your fulfilled desire. A mistake a lot of people make is putting their happiness and their fulfillment into the future. They are waiting for their manifestation, they're waiting for their desire to manifest and to pan out in the 3D, and that is fine. However, what they're subconsciously telling themselves is that I'm going to be happy once this manifests. I'm going to feel whole and complete and fulfilled once this desire manifests. In reality, you guys, fulfillment is here now. As long as you have the eyes to see it, as long as you're able to modify your perception to actually start seeing fulfillment in everything and everywhere. Every circumstance, every experience, every situation, every relationship, every person that you meet, everyone you might come across, every conversation you might have, every interaction that you might have with someone. All of this is part of the bridge that is bringing you closer to your desire. And all of this, you guys, is part of your fulfillment, is part of the fulfillment of your desire, is part of the manifestation of your desire. And this is why we often say circumstances don't matter because circumstances truly have the meaning that you give them. And I've said before in other videos, circumstances truly only have so much power over you as you give them. If the meaning you give to a circumstance is that it's still a bridge towards your desire, it's still something that is in, in your favor, that it's something that is going to bring you closer to your desire, that's something that is going to bring your desire closer to you and towards you, then could any circumstance really be unwanted? Could any circumstance really be negative or opposing to you? Even if, in human terms, it might sound like opposing. For example, let's say you're manifesting money and you lose a bunch of money instead of bringing more money in. If, however, the meaning you give to that experience, the fact that you lost some money, is that somehow this happened for a reason, somehow this is going to bring me closer to my desire, somehow this is a bridge towards my desire, is that circumstance still opposing? Is that circumstance still negative? Is that circumstance still undesirable and unwanted? You see that everything takes the meaning that you give it. Everything is subject to the lens by which you see it and everything is subject to the meaning that you attach to it. If you're manifesting a specific person and let's say you see them out with someone else, you can give it the meaning that this is unwanted, this is the opposite of what I wanted, this is not what I was manifesting, why is this happening to me? So you attach a very negative, very unwanted, very opposing um, meaning to it. At the same time, you could also choose to attach the meaning that let them go out with that person, that is going to make them realize that I'm even more important to them, that I am the one for them. It's going to make them realize that I am the one that I want. So in that sense, then, you neutralize that circumstance. You took away the negative meaning from it. You made even that unwanted quote-unquote circumstance, even that negative quote-unquote circumstance, a part of your manifestation and a part of your fulfillment. And this is what you do. This is how you operate. This is how you see the world. If you adopt the perspective that everything is part of my fulfillment, everything is part of my manifestation, everything is a bridge leading me to my manifestation. And the benefits of adopting such a perspective are actually quite obvious, I think. 
First of all, you drop your resistance, which is the biggest factor that can delay a manifestation. Second, you spiral much less. You feel so much better. Your vibration automatically becomes so much higher. You're not bothered. You are not triggered. You do not ruin your day. You do not ruin your mood over something that you saw in the 3D when you have taken it as part of your fulfillment. When you see your fulfillment as already being here, when you see your desire as already being yours, already being done, and everything that's happening even before it concretely manifests in the 3D being part of the fulfillment, then there is no room to see anything other than fulfillment in anything or anyone or any situation or any experience or any challenge that stops being a challenge. And at the end of the day, it's all a matter of perspective, you guys. It's all a matter of perspective. It's all a matter of how you see things. It's a matter of what lens you put on, what glasses you put on. And I'm not talking about toxic positivity here, not at all. I'm not saying that you might have an experience that you wouldn't normally like and you start liking it. No, but you don't allow it to bother you anymore. You don't allow yourself to spiral over it anymore. Because if you start giving the meaning that everything is a part of the bridge, everything is a part of your fulfillment, everything is leading to your manifestation, then even experiences or circumstances that may seem negative stop mattering to you as much. Ideally, they don't even matter to you at all. Because you're still laser focused on your fulfillment. You are still laser focused on your vision. You don't make it mean anything about your manifestation. Even if it's something that you don't particularly prefer, you don't particularly like, it doesn't matter to you. You are still looking at your end. You are still looking at your vision. And you know that your desire is coming. Your desire is yours. Your desire is done. And even that experience that happened to play out in your life and in your 3D, even that is going to somehow help in your manifestation coming to you. So you learn to see fulfillment everywhere. You learn to train yourself to see fulfillment everywhere. You learn to see everything as a bridge to your desire manifesting. You learn to become unbothered by what you encounter in the 3D. You learn not to give power to circumstances. You learn that things can always change. Things can always be turned around. You are looking at your fulfillment. Everything is a part of your fulfillment. And once you adopt that perspective, once you genuinely start thinking and feeling in this way, there is nothing, there's absolutely nothing that can hurt you, knock you off track, bother you, make you spiral, trigger you, etc, etc. So start seeing fulfillment everywhere. Start seeing fulfillment in every experience, every situation, every interaction you have and see what difference it makes in your life and how much easier and faster you are going to be manifesting all your desires. With all that being said, I'm going to wrap up this video here. I intend that this has helped. As always, I very much appreciate you guys being on this channel, watching this content. I love making this content for you. And as always, I look forward to seeing you all at the next video. Until then, take care and bye-bye.